Sarah Ford had no idea her heart was in trouble until a routine visit to the doctor in Dothan, Alabama, found one of her valves was leaking. She had noticed only a few mild symptoms, fatigue and lightheadedness. I thought I was in wonderful shape. I was doing um, aquasizing three days a week and I was walking two days a week. I just felt too good to think that I was ready for surgery. But left untreated, the leaky valve would damage her heart over time. So Sarah set out to find the best hospital for treatment. Research led her to UAB. When it comes to surgery and something real delicate, and when it's your heart, I think you want to know that somebody's doing it that has a lot of experience. Because we have so many surgeons with such vast experience, uh, it's a good place to, to, for, for patients to feel reassured that they can get a second opinion or that even the surgeon will ask his colleague for a second opinion. And this, this, is, a, this is a kind of teamwork thing that, that, that's very important. And so you have a lot of surgeons with a lot of years of experience. All of those years can come to bear on that one patient. UAB cardiovascular surgeon Dr. Constantine Athanasoulias says outcomes for the complex valve repairs and replacements are directly related to that experience gained by performing a high number of these surgeries. I think everybody has anxiety when uh, they need heart surgery or their family member needs heart surgery. Uh, that's normal. Patients from uh, neonates here uh, who are one day old and we've treated patients in their 90s. Today's minimally invasive procedures mean smaller scars and less downtime for patients. My scars are under the arm, so you don't even notice them. The UAB facility and staff are equipped to handle any problems that may arise with a floor dedicated to recovering heart patients. Good to see you. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Good. How was your MRI today? When I went on the floor, I just felt like I was treated very special. Surgeon is responsible for doing a, the perfect operation, but we, we really do realize that outcomes ultimately depend upon the team effort together with our nursing staff, our clinical coordinators, our nurse practitioners. Uh, without their support, uh, even a perfect operation uh, uh, might, might go awry uh, without, without uh, good surveillance 24 hours a day, and, and we're, we're proud to say we have that here. It was that high quality care that put Sarah Ford at ease. She says it was well worth the drive hours from her home to get the best treatment. For the people in this part of the country, you know, it's so convenient and the doctors are all well known and they really have a great reputation. And I think there are no procedures done uh, in the world that we can't cover here at UAB. Heart surgery isn't routine for anybody.